3 we have a coordinate grid and <clears throat> we're asked to, to write the coordinates of coordinate P, which is this one here. Now um, we are seven across, uh, we're sorry, we're six across and seven up, um, and you always write your x value before your y value. Okay, sometimes you're told to go along the corridor before you go up the stairs. So it's six across and then seven up, and we're done. R is the midpoint of PQ, write down the coordinates of R. Now I'm just, just going to draw a line in here, just to make my life a little bit easier. And I wonder if you can see the midpoint uh, when you're doing it. Is it straightforward to see? Well, let's think about it. We go six uh, uh, across here and three up to get from Q to B, uh, Q to P. So we have to go six across and then we go three up. So if I wanted to go half that, then what I'd do is I'd go three across and then go 1.5 up. So it'd be there. Now what would that, would that coordinate be? Well, it would be three across, because we're there. But careful, it's not 1.5, it's four, add another 1.5, so it's 5.5. So it would be three, 5.5. Okay, the point B is on the x-axis. So the point B, leave it there, is somewhere on the x-axis. The line BP is parallel to the y-axis. The line B to P is parallel to the y-axis. So for it to be parallel to this axis, it must be a straight vertical line. So where must B be? Well, think about it. B somewhere along here. It's not there. It must be there because this line then, BP, would be parallel to that line. So the coordinates of B, just by inspection there, must be 6 across and 0 up. So 6 and 0. And we're done.